Hey everybody, Mike here with I Smell. Hope this video is finding everyone well, that y'all are smelling good and feeling great. In today's video, we are going to be teaming up with the homie Bobby over at Twilly's Two Cents, an amazing content creator coming out of Memphis, Tennessee. We'll both be diving into the Middle Eastern clone house of Paris Corner. The name of the fragrance we'll be highlighting today goes by the name of just Bergamot. This one is gaining somewhat of a wave within the community due to people reporting it to be one of the better alternatives to Lalabo's Bergamot 22. Here in a second, I'm going to hand it off over to Bobby. He's going to give you his thoughts and impressions on the fragrance. He'll kick it off back to me and then I'll do the same. Collectively, this is going to be a double review. But in the spirit of not rambling, I'll go ahead and scoop it on over to him. I'll see y'all back here in a few. Oh, what's up, everybody? Bobby here from the Twilly's Two Cents channel. Before I kick things off, I'd like to give a big shout out to Mike for including me in this video. And I heard that we are going to be discussing a little bit about a fragrance called Just Bergamot by Paris Corner. So to jump right into it, I have my bottle right here. And let me jump into what my opinion or my take what my experience has been with this fragrance so first off if i had to describe this fragrance in a few words i would say that this is a citrus green fresh fragrance this thing kind of gives me the vibes of let's say you wake up in the morning you had like you know those april showers the day before you wake up it's kind of brisk outside you know that morning coolness you got a bit of dew coming out the grasses. That fresh smell that you get is kind of reminiscent to me of what I get from this one. I don't get too much of the base notes in this one, but I definitely get some of those top and mid notes. More specifically, the bergamot and the grapefruit and the orange blossom. I feel that this is a you know, perfect fragrance for the springtime and something that can excel in the summertime as well, especially when things start to heat up. Now, since I am in Memphis, you know, weather has been kind of crazy. One day you can expect 40 degrees, the next day it'll be 80 degrees, and then two seconds later it'll be snowing, and then 30 seconds or 30 minutes after that, it'll be, you know, like a heat wave. But I'm saying all that to say this, you can still get away with wearing this fragrance, whether it's cold or not, in my opinion. So to get into a little bit about what drew me to acquiring this fragrance, um, not sure how many people from my channel have seen my channel but um i really have a thing for fragrances from the house of Lay labo and one of those fragrances happened to be bergamot 22 which i do not have so to be able to find something that's reminiscent to bergamot 22 at a fairly great price i would say that this was definitely a must have for me especially since i don't have that Lay labo fragrance so what I do have here, I do have a Le Labo bottle and of course the Just Bergamot bottle. This of course isn't Bergamot 22, but just for the instances of, you know, kind of going off the presentation, you can kind of see that they were a bit inspired by Le Labo when creating the bottle. But the difference is that this is a 50 mil that costs $200 or in their price range of $200. Whereas this 100 mil you can get for under $50. So already you can see the value in that, but also I would say that that comes with a bit of a drawback. That drawback to me being the performance. On my skin personally, fresh fragrances have a hard time lasting, you know, over about three to four hours, which is about what I get from this one. But the beauty of it is, it's very inexpensive and you can take it with you and just reapply, which will most likely be the case with how I apply this fragrance to myself. I will definitely be rocking this in the spring. In summertime, I'm already rocking it, actually. And, you know, when I need to re-up on it, I just go in for a couple more sprays. It's not gonna hurt me because, like I said, it's inexpensive. So, I'm definitely glad to have this one in my collection. And this is most likely something that I will keep in my collection for years to come. I would say that you can't go wrong with a fresh green citrus scent. And especially if you are a fan of Le Labo and know anything about their fragrances. The only thing with this one, it just doesn't have that Le Labo DNA that you can pick up in a lot of their fragrances. So, with that being said, Mike, I would like to thank you once again for including me in this. And shouts out to everybody that's over at the I Smell channel. I appreciate you guys as well for tuning in. With that being said, Mike, I'm going to kick it right back to you. Lego.
Thank you, Twilly, for providing your thoughts and insights on Just Bergamot. I had no doubt coming into this that you would nail it, and you absolutely did. I really do appreciate your input, but I'm not going to keep y'all here too long. I'm going to jump into my portion of the review, and what I'm going to say right out the gate that, to my nose, Just Bergamot smells like a hybrid of several different fragrances within my collection, that being Encre Noir Sport. Mercedes-Benz Cologne, as well as even Tom Ford's Grey Vetiver to some degree, which in and of itself is a huge compliment considering all those are awesome fragrances. I have also heard people comparing Just Bergamot to Versace Mano Fresh. I do find those claims to be less warranted. To my nose, I don't pick up on any major similarities between those two. This is a rather simplistic scent profile, but it is going to be layered in its delivery versus many of the other aromatic citrus fragrances currently on the market at this price point. Having said that I will give you a couple sprays and let you know what I smell on this fragrance. It's a pretty good atomizer. Okay, the opening is going to contain an uplifting, pleasant, bitter green bergamot note being blended with an ozonic natural grapefruit note. The result is a fragrance that comes across as smelling refreshing and never overly acidic. It's for those reasons that I do believe this is going to be an extremely mass appealing fragrance that people can reach for during the warmer months of the year. It wears effervescent in a similar fashion that green tea fragrances do. This is most likely due to the bitter green pedigree that is also present during the onset of this fragrance's opening. You'll also pick up on a fair amount of vetiver, but rest assured that this is the type of vetiver that is going to be perfect for people that are new to the fragrance note and or might even be hopping into the note of vetiver for the first time. Vetiver can take on a wide array of characteristics from being dusty and hay-like to being soapy and clean. I'm happy to report that although prevalent in the scent profile of just bergamot, it is playing more of a supportive role to the citruses and it does in fact come across as smelling so be fresh. What I appreciate about the vetiver in Just Bergamot is that it never takes over the fragrance. Instead, it just aids the fragrance in giving it a bit more maturity. Throughout the mid, you're also going to pick up on inoffensive white, fresh floral notes of orange blossom. They help to round the fragrance out, balance the composition in general, and give it a little bit of depth. This is also going to be supplemented with some light cedar, which add just a tinge of woody spiciness to the composition as a whole. Again, this isn't an overly complex scent profile. That's pretty much what you're going to get. What you see is what you get with this fragrance, other than some undeniable nuances of creamy, vanilla you're going to have some slight citrusy musks and you're also going to have some warm amber in the dry down all in all it's a beautiful fragrance so as is going to be the case with the majority of citrus aromatics performance is where it usually takes a hit and that is no exception with just bergamot although it does start out with pretty exceptional sillage that scent bubble is going to close in on you rather quickly on my skin i got average longevity of four to five hours tops which again is nothing to write home about just take into consideration that you're going to be getting that same type of performance with bergamot 22 the only difference is lila Cabo's version is going to set you back $300 for 100 milliliters, whereas Paris Corner's Just Bergamot is only going to set you back around $60 for a full 100 milliliter bottle. That transitions perfectly into what many of y'all are here for, the question on y'all's mind, and that is, does Just Bergamot smell like Bergamot 22 from Lilabo? In order to answer that question, I did purchase a decant from Lilabo. That way I could properly compare the two. I will go ahead and spray it on my hand now just to kind of give y'all an approximation on how close they are to each other. And then I will spray just bergamot on this hand. Listen, you guys, I'm going to put my reputation on the line. I'm going to go out on a limb to say that they are about 90 to 95% similar. Any differences in their scent profile is going to be negligible. To the untrained nose, you aren't going to be able to tell the difference. So yeah, do I recommend this fragrance? Yes, I do. I absolutely recommend this fragrance. It is a smoothly made, easy to wear, dumb reach fragrance that people can wear for hot weather. It's mass appealing. 
it smells good, but most importantly, it's at a price point that the average consumer is going to find accessible. Ultimately, at the end of the day, yes, it is an awesome clone, AKA reiteration dupe of Lalabo's Bergamot 22. All right, you guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up with Just Bergamot. I hope you enjoyed the video. First and foremost, I wanna thank Bobby for teaming up with me to do this collab. Thank you, brother. I really do appreciate you. I hope this is the first of many collaborations moving forward. If you enjoy fragrance-related content, if you found value in this video specifically, I am going to encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Listen, it takes like two seconds. Just click the button. It's free dollars. It literally costs you nothing. We have a ton of exciting content coming down the pipe, including more collaborations. So be sure to stay tuned. Until next time, you guys, y'all take care. Stay safe. Bye.